Yo, what's up? Welcome back to the pod. I'm joined here today by my co-host Derek, and yeah, we got two special guests on the pod. Can you guys uh give me a brief introduction? Let's start with let's start with James. Let's start with James. All right. Uh, so my name is James. I'm uh best friends with these two guys, Derek and Nitet. Yeah. Uh, I'm a I'm a freshman, but I'm gonna be sophomore next year in ISM, and I'm currently studying in Myanmar. Cool. Same as James. I've been attending ISM since on um, pre-K, but like. I'm gonna be moving to Bangkok, like cool. uh, mid July, late July. Well, one leave Myanmar, yeah. Start new, like fresh. Start fresh in like, Bangkok. Yeah. Where are you gonna go after that? Like after, your, are you just gonna go to college in Bangkok or? Yeah, uh, there, there. But finishing both grade in Bangkok, I'm heading to the US. Yo, is there a way you can put your mic closer to your face or something? I have you at 200 though, but it's still a little bit quiet. What does your daily routine look like? When do you guys wake up? When do you go to sleep? When do you work? So it's a pretty pretty simple question to just test the waters. Alright. Uh, I'll start with me? Yeah, sure. Alright. So, uh, I I wake up at 3 p.m. Alright. Uh, I wake up at 3 p.m. I eat breakfast. I'm actually not breakfast, but like dinner. But I still eat like breakfast stuff like bread, you know. Right. And then I have tuition like every day around like five. And then ends at like normally ends at seven or eight. And then after that I just pretty much play games, chill, talk with the friends, and I go to bed at six AM. Damn. I mean I used to have yeah. like similar schedule as well actually, but yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm fixing it. I'm fixing it though. I feel like most of the kids had really bad It's it's, really it's mainly because like School's closed right now, you know. I don't yeah, really yeah, have I much guess. to do. Yeah. Like how many hours, like, do you think you work a day or like, study a day? Work or study? I mean, I don't really study right now, but like, I have two shits that I do every day, like around two hours every day. Around two hours, but, pretty good. But work, I I do some like game business. I, oh, I mean, I make a decent okay. amount. I've made like five lakh this month, I guess. So basically, I sell skins, mobile legend skins, okay. diamonds. Stuff for you have like, like a supplier. Higher, all higher. No, I'm the supplier. I sell oh, for a higher supplier. price. I sell for a higher price than I bought it. How how That's much are your profit yeah. margins? I don't really know about <laughs> margins, but I just like I get around like ten percent profit. <laughs> oh, 10, <laughs> 10? So you lose ninety yeah. percent and make like t- ten. No, no, I make overall ten percent profit. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. gotcha. Yeah, got yeah, it, got yeah, it. yeah. That's pretty cool, bro. I respect the grind. Yo, yeah. Lintai, what what about you, bro? Like, what's your daily routine living. looking like? Uh, I'd be waking up like, well, like one. But on Sundays, right. some days, like, I wake up. My dad makes me wake up, like what, seven a.m. and we go like work, like not work, but I had to follow him to like his factory, like my factory. Uh, oh, no, cool, bro, cool, that cool. same day, same day that he has us to do. Right here. Yeah. Like sure. That. Uh, the company it, it prints like like bags, uh, books, magazines, magazine covers, and like the like restaurant takeout bags. You know, like fucking shrimp and then J donut. Oh, awesome, bro! Like, four, how many hours do you go a day? Like four hours. Three four hours. hours. Four or five hours. Come back like what one one p.m. two p.m. and then. I go driving. I been driving for like a few weeks now. Oh, nice! Yeah, it's been it's a progress. Who teaches you? Who like who teaches you? My driver. Oh, nice! Like, I've been, but I've been driving since it's been a few months. But that was like on and off every two weeks, every one week. But now it's been daily for two weeks or so. All right, cool, bro. Cool. Let's move on to the let's move on to the next questions. Oh, uh, Derek, do you have a question? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so let's start with relationships, right? So relationships right. as it like with a friend and and a girl. So when it comes to relationships, let's say your girl your girl does OnlyFans. Would like would you let her? Okay, let's say she does OnlyFans, but she's making a lot of money from OnlyFans, and she all that money she gets she uses it to support your relationship, right? Would you let your girl continue doing OnlyFans. You know, she's selling, you know, like she's basically selling her body online for money, 
right? But all that money, you and your girlfriend can use all that money. But she's like probably doing something that she shouldn't be doing. So would you let your girl continue OnlyFans? Okay, so so first of all, if if a girl was doing OnlyFans, I would never get with her in the first place. So like, I would never even get myself into that situation of like deciding if I should stay with her or like not because I don't even want to get with her in the first place. Okay, what if what if OnlyFans. what if like she starts doing OnlyFans like when you start dating like in oh I'm, I'm definitely breaking dating. off. What definitely breaking off? Oh, you're just breaking off right right off the bat. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I don't fuck with that, bro. All right, that's yeah. valid actually. Yeah. What about Julian? Uh, what are the uh, thoughts? Um, what James said, like, if, like, before, it, like, we're dating, if, like, he doesn't do OnlyFans, or if she starts doing OnlyFans, I will break it off, but while in the relationship and she randomly starts out of nowhere, like, I will strongly advise her not to, but, like, at the end of the day, it's her life, you know, we're not married, we're not engaged, we're, there's no connections, there's only uh, a label, like, I love her, she loves me, it's, like we're dating but i don't have full control over her so like i'm gonna advise her not to but if she doesn't want to listen then that's her problem okay sounds good sounds good let's let's get to the next question bro let's get to the next question uh what what social media site do you spend most of your time on is it instagram tiktok youtube uh so b i i spend my time mainly on facebook and tiktok Oh, okay. So TikTok, I mainly use it for like entertainment purposes. Like I just watch it when I'm bored. Okay. But Facebook, I I have some like partners, like business partners on Facebook that I use. They need to like text and like constantly keep a lie on their page. Oh yeah. And then cool. I also like I have a hobby of like collecting anime figures. So like I also I have to check Facebook for like you know new posts and like to see if there's any post of. My favorite and make figures that I want to buy. Oh, cool, cool, cool. Yo, what about you, bro? That's it. Oh, uh, oh no, man. I be using like TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, Snapchat, Discord. I use all of them. Like Discord, texting, you know. What type? Instagram, what type of TikTok. content like do you guys watch though? Is it, is it just like brain rock content or? Yeah, it's just. Yeah, I get games. It. Honestly, just games. Like what games? No. Games, music, games, music, like whatever like TikTok, like yeah. dances. All right, cool, cool, cool. Yo, yo, we have to try to raise the energy levels up a little bit. Yo, this is yeah. deep talk. Yo, right. Everyone kind of sounds like dead right now. Right. So yeah, I mean, where do you guys see yourself in five, ten, five years? Let's say five years. Where do you see yourself? Uh, five years. I think in five years I will be like at university right now. Okay. But I aim to like go to either UK or US, but depending on like which university I get accepted to, because I'm gonna like apply to both countries, I'll pick out one and I'll be in one of those universities. Which universities yeah. are you planning to go if you don't mind sharing? Oh, uh, I don't really know about UK, but for US, I mean, I, I plan for UCLA, but I don't oh, yeah, know. Of course, everyone well, plans yeah. for that. James, yeah. James, 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 what are you, uh, what's your major? My what major? are you into? I want to go for engineering, bro. Engineering, oh, sorry, STEM yeah. major, bro. Yeah, yeah. yeah how are your grades right, looking, okay. bro? If you don't mind sharing. Grades? Pretty oh, good. 4. I mean, I got a four. I, I, I got four I, GPA I, on my latest quarter. Yeah, bro. He, he's a uh, Mister Four Point Zero. He's a Mister Four Point Zero. Yo, for people who are like struggling in school and shit like that, I think. Uh, do you have any advice? Because you like you only study for like what two I'll hours a day. Here. You run a business. You play a lot, a lot of games. How do you like manage all that time and like still succeed in school? Honestly, I have no idea. Oh, you have no idea. You just do it. I, I just, I just kind of go with the flow. I go with the flow, man. Is school just too easy. Is school just too easy, right? Yeah, now? kind of too easy, man. Ah. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yo, what about you, Lintep? Me. Yeah. Where What's do you see question? yourself in five years? Where do you see yourself in five years? Five years. Five years. It will be 2020, 2029. Yeah, so, twenty twenty nine. So, yeah, second year of university. I'd probably be in uh, somewhere in the United States, like most likely LA or San Fran, because that's where my like half of my family lives. But oh, yeah, cool, cool, I cool. Mean, what major probably, are you going to pursue? Probably uh, engineering, same as James. Uh, oh, nice. 
It's okay. year. Damn. Awesome. Yeah. Let's talk about like where you see yourself in ten years, right? Theoretically, you've you've already graduated. Which work, like which career, are you gonna dive into? Are you gonna get rich? Like, what are you gonna do? Are you gonna get married? Shit like that. Let's just talk about that. All right. Uh, so in ten years, I mean, my dad already has a pretty big business right now. I mean, he has like multiple businesses, and so. At me, as the only like son of the family, I'm probably gonna like, you know, inherit some of these businesses. I'm probably gonna yeah gonna, yeah inherit his job and his like money and everything. So obviously I have to get ready to work for work in replacement of him when he retires. So I'll probably get some like lessons from him on like how to start like managing the business and everything. And yeah, that's probably what I'll be doing in ten years. Probably we'll start working somewhere. In related to engineering, but like if that like fails, like I might start my own business. Maybe, maybe. Oh, cool, if cool, that cool. fails, there's like cool. there's a backup. Uh, my family's company is a backup. Like my parents have told me, like start your life out in the U.S. But if it doesn't work out, you can always come back and like work with the family business. So, like if it doesn't work out, I'll probably go back to the family business and try and make it global. You know. Awesome, it. awesome, there's bro. Many, yeah, there's a lot of potential in that. It's a pretty solid plan, bro. Pretty solid plan. Are you guys Are you guys looking forward to college? What do you feel What do you feel about, like, the college life? Mm, I'm, I'm definitely looking forward. looking forward. Yeah. Are you, what aspect I'm, are you, like, looking forward? Like, the partying or just the networking? Nah, yeah. I'm just looking forward to living in a different country out of Myanmar, man. <laughs> I mean, Myanmar is just very devastating right now, you know? <laughs> like, like, come on, man. Yeah. Yeah. What aspects of college like are you looking forward to though? Aside from just moving out of the country, probably more freedom. More freedom. Yeah, I, heard it. I mean, like, yeah, you're gonna be moving out of your family. Oh yeah. That's, so you'll that's be finally like living alone for once. So yeah, more oh, freedom. Yeah. More freedom. Yeah, that's definitely one of the deciding big factors. I guess more freedom as well, but like. Yo, are you gonna go crazy in those parties or like are you a party guy? Uh, he's definitely going crazy, bro. He's, he's definitely going crazy, going crazy bro. bro. He's, he's gonna a party guy. He's a party guy, guy bro. Every now and then, you must you must have fun, right? Your friends are be going out with like people. I made friends there, you know. But there's also some work from you, university and shit. According to Lintako, he said these days he has been like incredibly bored because like aside from all the chicks that he stopped talking to. Um, these days, this MO performance has also been declining rapidly. Yeah, yeah, so definitely. He, and oh he's in, like, he's depressed from all that, you know, MO influences. Also from, like, he stopped talking to girls too. So, uh, these days, he has been really bored, which is the first re- which is honestly just the reason why he even attended to- attended today's podcast. What are your thoughts in- what are your guys' thoughts in regards to a guy, uh, a guy having a girl best friend? Like in marriage and dating, just whatever any of those nerves, would you allow your girlfriend to have a guy best friend? I mean, for me, it depends. Like, it depends how like my partner is like interacting with the guy best friend. You know, like after after starting like dating with me or like like marrying me, like they obviously like, need to like start like focusing more on me and instead of the boy best friend you know if the girl is still giving more attention and more time to the boy best friend and like basically talking the same way and like interacting the same way that she is interacting with me then like for me that's like a no-go man same yeah that's pretty valid honestly honestly i think the same it's like it, it just depends on like how how much you interact with the girl for example let's say if that uh guy best friend is also one of my close friends then it's i'm fine with it because oh yeah definitely I, definitely yeah 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 yeah, think, yeah exactly because i know that um if i'm close with that guy best friend too i know he probably wouldn't backstab me like that and the yeah. girl wouldn't cheat on me but the thing is if that guy best friend is someone i don't know and if the girl is also like kind of giving us both the same attention then that's a no-go i'm gonna have to cut things off or like just confront exactly the girl about, like, what's, exactly what's what they're saying yeah yeah Oh, how about uh, Lintet? How about, how about Lintet, man? How about Lintet, yeah. Do you, do you have any thoughts on the current situation? I mean, a guy best friend? Like, to us, if I were to get in a relationship with the girl, like, like, I would love them, you know? 
That means and knowing them, it comes with 100% trust. So I think I would trust her that she wouldn't backstab me. You know. Oh, okay. oh, oh. little, 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 little. I I have a question. I have a question. Like it's a re- regarding the current situation. So I know I I know that you're gonna know which girl I'm talking about. If that girl, if you were dating that girl and he has a guy best friend named. What would you do in that situation? Cut that shit out! No. If you were dating that girl who started with S and he has, she has a boy, a boy best friend who started with the letter R what would you do in that situation? Uh, What's happening bro? Hey, I, if I love her, I trust her You know, she, she should know that She should know not to break it But then if she breaks it well, like I guess that was my mistake for trusting her. Like, yeah, you know. So, yeah. I guess that's a pretty right. valid point. Just uh, base base it off just trust alone. Yeah. But there's also another. You no, know, if he's gay or whatever, like I wouldn't. I wouldn't care, bro. He's gay, bro. He's not straight. So like, uh. I mean, that, that, that's a fair point. That's fair. That's fair. Yeah. All right. What? Well, so, do you, do you guys think like platonic relationships between guys and girls are even possible? Do you think it's actually possible, or what do you think? I mean, I think it's possible. You think it's possible? But it's just that it's, it's gonna be very hard. Like yeah, I feel like side. yeah, I feel like most of the time it, it's not gonna work because the yeah, guy. Most it's most mostly the, the guy has like a different intent when trying to be oh, like yeah. friends with a girl. Yeah, 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 it's mostly the guy having a different intent. They're just they're just biding their time, uh, waiting for their chance to strike. Actually, but yeah, yeah, there are like everything. I would say like the success rate is like twenty percent, ten twenty percent. It is pretty low though. A, flu- a fully platonic relationship is, it's hard. Yeah, it's very hard. Yeah, man. that's why a guy and a girl can never be best friends, guys. I mean, yeah, there are situations, but they're like only outliers. Yeah, hey, I mean, they can be like, but there's a catch. It's either one of them are very ugly. Or like they're not attracted to each other at all. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, like that's true. Oh, yeah, 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 definitely. Yeah, yeah the, if the girl's attractive, it's gonna be hard to have a platonic relationship. Yeah. yeah. The girl has to the the girl has to be unattractive to to have a fully platonic relationship. Yeah. Or they can both be attractive, unattractive. Right? Yeah, that that works as well, yeah, honestly. Yeah, yeah. yeah I How guess the, attractive? that is the main like most scenarios are like that though. Right, so um, guys, James and they said this question is specifically meant for you two. So in eighth grade, I heard there was some drama going on in regards to you, you two, and a girl. So would you like to kind of elaborate on what happened between like you and girl? Like, what are the perspectives? James, you go ahead. No, 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 no you start first. I think you should start first. I'll give you the honors. I. And no weird shit then. Okay. Like, yeah. It all started out morning. Well, August, this, like, this new girl came in, you know, she was pretty, I guess. She was pretty, and I fell for her. So, and she fell for me too. So I started dating her and shit. And like, uh, my, some complications came in, and uh, we, we broke up. You know, we broke up, but some, it was still going, you know. Like, we were still talking and stuff because the breakup was over some stupid shit and like yeah we were still talking but then okay james okay okay james you're fucking terrible all, right, all, right, all right all right all right all right i'll, I'll say mine now so so a great august a new bro. girl came in i didn't i, I didn't really th- think much up about her at first but then one day while we were playing valorant like a rumor came in from a random guy who said that like this new girl liked me and then like i heard that rumor and i was like oh what i got like kind of interested in it you know so then like they like when school reopened again i started looking more at her and i was like oh, okay this girl's pretty pretty so like i started talking to her and i also started liking her but i didn't know that like linda and like them or linda also liked her at that time so i kind of just like talk 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 and then and then Nita and her started dating, and you know, at that time, that got me like really, really hurt, bro. So like, I fucking like, I did some fucked up shit. I got them to broke up somehow, and then, like, yeah, after that, I started 
talking to her again, and she started talking to me back again. But like obviously behind the scenes, Linda and her were still talking. Alright, let's go on. Hey, we were still talking, and then like, but they didn't know. They didn't know, and it would be a big problem if they knew because like they were her only friends. There's just another person that we do not speak of. There's just them and James. They were, they were her only friends, and if they knew, bro, she had one more. She had three. She had three. And yeah, fuck that, bro. Uh, so if they found out that we were still talking, like, uh, they threatened to like uh, cut communications off her and like stop being friends with her, you know. And like she was re- real sad with that. So, uh, I couldn't. We couldn't like make this like known that we were still talking. So just we, we had to keep it like low key, you know. No, I do have yeah. a quick question. I do have a quick question. How does how did yeah, this like true. incident affect your friendship? Did you guys stop talking completely? Like were you guys enemies once? Honestly, like, how was it? Honestly, I I thought that like we stopped talking completely, but like I look back at our texts and stuff, we still play games together. Like <laughs> here and there. Like like there was there was a, like later on like in like point I think we had like a Wildgen tournament or something. We even played together in there. We even wore them. But then, like, oh shit! How much what, money what did you guys though? win? Oh, what I mean, was this for fun? Oh, like, just for fun? Oh, yeah, shit. school, school, like fun stuff, you know. I mean, there was some tension. Like, we yeah, both yeah, made definitely. It, but we just left it. We didn't care because we have been friends over what ten years, and like, yeah. like this stupid shit is not gonna. Like, was there was Derek involved in the situation? <laughs> was Derek involved in the situation? Oh, 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 oh. That guy, that guy is so involved. Bro, your brother is so involved in this also, bro. He was yeah, like, Derek, okay. do you have, you, have, you have some allegations, bro. Do you, oh, yeah, yeah, I, have some, these yeah, allegations. I do have a few. Yeah, yeah, all right, so. Okay, okay, so, okay. All right, all okay. Two, two. Okay, wait, so to clear up all the accusations, um, I, I kind of helped James, I guess. I was helping James in regards to this. And then, oh, yeah, I also sometimes, like, took my time to listen to also Linta's perspective. But honestly, like in the end, I feel like it's great that you guys like came up together, because in the end, it was just her being a complete bop. So it's good that you guys, you know, somehow revitalize your friendship back. But yeah, honestly, and like the when you y'all you guys were dating, I thought both of you were like are kind of in the wrong, because you both were kind of fighting for like a girl that was just in the end was a bop. And I feel like Ryan also mentioned a lot about this. And then, like sometimes, oh, yeah. she, yeah, wanna I, bring, I, she we want to bring. We gotta bring Ryan on the pod, next time. Ryan, he's not awake. He's not awake at this time. Man. No, no next time, next time, next time. He sleeps so early. Yeah. yeah. He sleeps like early though, huh? Yeah, yeah. very early. There, I wouldn't say that it's a complete bop. You know, she had her reasons. I guess, like, she was. Like, I don't want to, like, diverse like deep into her background, but she has some mental. Stuff going on, and no, she definitely has some mental, yeah. She has some yeah, crazy yeah. stuff going on, bro. Yeah. Going on, yeah. And from yeah. her past, it was pretty like fucked up for her, so like it's reasonable for her to be like that. But then, it, uh, shit, shit was over a year ago, I guess. Yeah, it was eighth grade. Over, wait, a year wait, ago. wait, wait, but, but 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 there's still stuff to talk about, though. We we oh, like okay, so after December, we have Vietnam, bro. Vietnam was a big, big part, bro. Oh so yeah, in, Vietnam. So in Vietnam, like at the at, like our first, we had like a four like five day trip, I think so. At the first day, I was like I was still okay with her. I was still talking to her, and I would like I would on our like fucking what how do you call that like walk walk on the mountain. Like I would like help her like and stuff. Yeah, hiking. But then on like I think on second day night or something like that, like I heard use. That yeah, like, some interesting Linta, news. I heard, I heard. Okay, I heard news that Linta was like Valentine's with her. I was like, I heard it from like Ryan at the time. Like, oh, yeah, um, it was when it was February fourteenth. So, like, yeah, I that think. that shit. Like, I mean, like, obviously that shit caught me like off guard because like I've been talking to her like since their breakup, and their breakup was like october i don't know around there so i thought like i i i didn't know that like there was like anything going on behind like behind our back so like i got kind of confused and hurt but what what's crazy is that i also heard you 
that another like another like she was she had another Valentine except Lita. She had two Valentines at that time. And like and the other Valentine that she had happened to be my friend at the time. And so we both got really mad after hearing that. Uh and like yeah, Lita, come on. Yeah, I was, me, okay, me me and like Lita were the main main people, but yeah. And there's yeah. one person that we do not speak of. She was yeah. We don't we don't speak of that. She was like, yeah, let's leave it. Yeah. It yes. was, she was a good good friend of hers, but she didn't yeah. like she didn't see her in that way. You know, she wanted more, but that's her life. I don't want to talk about that. Oh yeah. cool. But yeah. Yeah. That, that, how, that, that's yeah. his. That's his life, Lieutenant. His life, not her life. Oh man, it's it. Wait, how did you make yeah. amends at the end, though? Uh. And, and you both just stop talking oh, to wait, the wait, truth. Wait, wait. No, 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 no. Okay. There's much more. You're not done. Right? No, there's, there's much more. There's a lot more. There's a lot more. It's okay, not just, okay. just, just go crazy, I mean, bro. Okay. Just go crazy. Just say whatever. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, so wait, wait, Vietnam, just, just, just talk about like, you know, you guys were kind of like being feet out in Vietnam. Like, obviously, we know our friends right. knew. I mean, we saw you guys in a like, bus together, study together. And like, she was lying on you. I mean, you were lying on her, I think. Or oh, maybe on the way around. Right? Yeah, uh-huh. you were sleeping on her. Uh, I mean, okay, back to the Valentine's theme. Like, yeah. I heard, I remember, like, she asked, that that person asked her to be her Valentine's on February 14th, the day of Valentine's. But, like, oh, I didn't know yeah, 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 that, 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 that. True, true. And it turns out, like, I asked her, like, 10 days before. Yeah. To be her Valentine's. She said yes, 10 days before, exactly 10 days. Was that so, fun like, fair, right? I think so, fun fair. Yeah, it was from ten days before February fourth. Yeah. So yeah, I guess she had two Valentines, but that that is kind of fucked up though. Like in from her, from the other person's perspective, that's kind of fucked up. But yeah, two Valentines is not it. But yeah, and then uh, Vietnam, the bus, everything, like the the Valentine after Valentines, they found out James and that other person. They found out that we had she was also my Valentine, so that's where. Like shit went down, you know, and that's where like they they knew again that we were still talking, and then oh, uh, bro, they broke it up. Yeah, at that time, like I was like, okay, I'm I'm completely off with her. Like I was no, I was never gonna look back at her again. But then later something will happen, and like yeah, but we'll we'll, we'll talk, get into that later on. So yeah, yeah. uh, they broke off. They broke it off with her, and I guess like I was free, you know. Like there's no more, uh, what? There's no more people interfering with my relationship. Whatever, I was free, but then like, from her, that girl's perspective, like, she lost her only friends, her closest friends. She was new to this school. She was new to ISN. She just came this year, and they were the friends. Like those two were her only friends, I guess. So like, she lost them, and she was really sad. And she also had, she said that she also had some mental. Stuff going on, so she was like really, really sad. She, she gets sad really easily. So like, I knew at that moment, like, damn, I don't want her to see this like this way. No one is here this way. She's too sad. Like, they're they them too. They're better for her. Like, they make her happy. So like, yeah, uh, it progresses February, March. But, like at the start of March, uh, I cut it off with her. I mean, before I cut it off with her, I texted James. Just as James again saying, bro, bro, oh. I can't. This guy, bro, I was, I was already done with her, but fucking, he came to me and started texting me and saying like, bro, just get back with her. Come on, hold on, just get back with her. Just start texting her. And he set up me and her back again. Like I refused, but like he kept persistently like saying, come on, just do it, man, and stuff. And then like, she spared off with you and like all those like fucking bullshit uh, and whatever. Yeah, hey, yo, I was in love, but. I didn't want to see her sad. I want to make. I want her to be happy. So, uh, I texted you guys because, like you and then the other guy, they were only friends. They were your yeah. her only. Friend. So yeah, I texted them, and then <clears throat> I set them up. They started talking again, and uh, deep down, that shit hurt me. Or that shit fucking destroyed me. But then I, I completely cut contacts off her, and then like I started to live my life, you know. And there's this other friend. Like not related to this, but she also came to help me. She 
can can we do this stuff? Oh, oh, that friend. Oh, oh, sh- all right, all right, got it, got it, got it, got it. Can we can we do this stuff? And I guess I was, I was, I was starting to get better, but <laughs> like school was still going on. I still saw James and her like every day. It was hurting. It was still hurting because I still loved her like really much. And like engine break, she texted me. She texted me. I, I wasn't the one who texted. She texted me first, saying, "Yo, what's good? Like, are you, how you, how are you? Are you doing fine? Like, she just wanted to, you know, like catch up. I think I don't know, but yeah, she sent me a paragraph and like, and that's where we started talking again. And at that time, her and James were dating, and she came. To- yeah, let's go. So so like basically, uh, like me after Linda like fucking came back to me and said that like. She's better off with me and shit. So like, I started texting back with her, and like after like a while, like two weeks, three weeks, I think, we started dating. And like, yeah, I thought like that was it, and that's it. But like, apparently not, cause I mean, okay, continue on the tip. Okay, and she came to text me, and then that's where we started talking again, like behind James's back. He was basically cheating. Yeah. Basically He's cheating, cheating, bro. Crazy, bro. What? But yeah, we started. Yo, talking Derek, do you have any points to add, bro? Cause you've been super quiet this whole conversation, bro. Sorry, I feel sorry, like, sorry, sorry, sorry. I feel like you should oh, know a few things about this as well, because like oh, you. Right, I'm sorry. So, honestly, man, Derek, Derek remembers a lot more stuff than I do. Like, honestly, Yo, bring up some points, bro. Bring shit. up some points, y'all. Stop, stop just sitting there jerking <laughs> off, dude. <laughs> the fuck. No, Yo, no, get sorry, back to man, work, was, bro. Yo, yeah, bring up bad, some points. Bad. I was, I was looking at the interview between Elon Musk and the BBC News reporter. Anyways, yo, that's the conversation, uh, wait, whoa, whoa, bro. Yeah, sorry, absolutely, absolutely. It's, it's, it's not. Not good. It's yeah, it's it's pretty. It's all right so far, I guess. It's deep, right? It's deep shit. I yeah. mean, at, at least it's at least it's gonna bring up like uh people involved in the drama though. I'll bring yeah, up people you involved in the drama. About your con- it's because y'all are talking about your personal anecdotes, so there's probably gonna be a few people that like yeah just. I'm, 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 I'm fine. I'm fine with. Bring up people, but Linta is just not fine with it. I don't know why. Lint- I mean, it's fine, it's fine. Yeah. I guess we don't we don't have to drop names. We don't have to drop names. Ciao. Yo, Derek, Derek, do you have any any points or thoughts that you want to bring up? Because like you're just sitting there, just um, gooning, bro. Like, bring wait, up some wait, points. Wait, 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 which wait, what what theme was it? Like, what what were we talking about? Bro, we were talking about the whole drama Lila. shit, dude. Anyways, uh, uh, I'm glad you know you two came together. Actually, decided to sit down talk. And get everything sorted out, cause We're not even obviously there yet, bro. I wouldn't even, you know, throw away a ten-year plus friendship for just one girl that was just a bop. Like I, I'm gonna just keep, t- I'm, I'm just keep saying she's a bop, even when she might not be, cause she also, you know, this stuff stuff to me, man. Yeah, this stuff stuff to me, man. She's a bop, bro. Yeah, she's it seems like this is very deep, bro. This is a very, very deep situation very going deep, on in here. Very deep conversation yeah, going on here, boys. Honestly, yeah, I think that's good for me and Linta, to be honest, like, after, after I started dating, like, eventually, at school ended June, around yeah. there, she broke up Maybe to okay. me, like, she, yeah, she broke up to me, using ChatGPT, that's crazy, uh, like, like, wait, so none of you guys are dating her right now, it's just, like, completely nah, nah, clean nah, now, nah, these nah, are nah, completely nah, clean no, now, it's clean, it's yeah. clean, it's clean, oh. now. it's clean, now. clean now. He broke up, like, after, after they broke up, like, like, uh, me and her, we were, it's kind of still talking but school was over you know school was over so i didn't get to see her i didn't get to see her more and like my cousins from america like they came back after five years so i was basically catching up with them i went out i went to singapore with derek as well i was i guess it was really busy like catching up with cousins we were going out every day so like as day by day went on i started talking to her less and less and she knew it she came to me, she talked about it, but like at that time I was starting to lose feelings. I started talking to it less and less. And then uh what well, start of July, like uh we completely start talk stopped talking and then life went on life life went on like that, I guess. Kind yeah, what is what is like one one lesson that you guys learned throughout this whole experience? Oh for me, like for me, okay, this like one year experience uh, has like taught me a lot of stuff, bro, and like it's made me like be more aware of a girl, I guess, like to make sure 
I get to know her well before I get into like any romantic stuff okay. and like cash feelings for her. So yeah, that's why like I've after we broke up, bro, I've been completely free from any like romantic stuff for one year now. It's oh, been cool. that great, and we're turning turn great soon already. Yeah, man. Will you ever pursue dating in in like college or? I mean, definitely. If if I meet a girl that will like that will not be loyal this time instead of like okay. fucking Lint. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Like, what about you, Lint? What about you, Lint? <laughs> Honestly, I just learned that to let go, you know, to let go when things are like hurting, you know, shit. Like after the breakup, I should have just stopped. Should have stopped talking to her. Should have like let go and ha- live my fucking eighth grade, have fun. But instead, yeah, like I was still caught up with her, and then it just it started going. There was a whole year of drama. Like eighth grade was supposed to be a very fun grade. Like even our friends like told us that like they had a lot of fun and shit. I mean, we still had fun. It was fun, but like we were caught up in that like big mess for a year. And, like it really made us like fucking not have fun and yeah, kind of ruined our relationship for a while. So. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, the pod, the pod is about to come to an end. So let's just bring up any last points or anything that we want to talk about. Yo, Derek, Derek, my co-host, do you have any, hello, do you have any hello, questions? Hello. Yo, I'm about to fire you from the co-host position, bro. If you just keep in of girl in like any way, like did this person teach you some lessons that like you want to avoid in the future, or like what type of girl are you like kind of looking for? What type of girl are you into for the future? Just based on this experience, like has your type changed? For me, I never really had a type to be honest. I just found I found the girl pretty, and like when we talked, like our vibes kind of matched, so I just kind of fell for it right there. But now, definitely, like I know for sure, like don't get fucking don't get mesmerized by the looks, bro. The looks aren't. Yeah, the looks aren't everything. Looks aren't everything. Yeah, looks aren't everything. Like even if the looks are good, I mean even if if the personality is good at first, like you need to talk to her for a while. Like get to know her well, like feel like one, two, three, four months before like getting pursuing into that like romantic shit, like I said before. But yeah, that's just me, man. All right, hello guys. Ever since you know uh, we all moved to high school, we all have been exposed to a lot more people, especially a lot more type of girls. So um, uh, obviously, we find a few girls. In the from the upperclassmen, like you know, interesting because they look good. They seem to have a good personality, and our friend here, our one of our guests, Linted Co, he actually um had kind of a close relationship <laughs> with the high school. You know, everyone changed. Everyone uh they changed in terms of personality and looks, and obviously ever since freshman year came, uh you know a new uh, new couples just in the freshman year they have been forming, and like all of these couples like. Okay, we're not dropping names, right? Out of these couples, uh, which couple do you think had like kind of the best fit for each other? Just, just this, I mean, don't, bro, don't like. Bro, actually, in, okay, in, I, in our freshman, bro, in our freshman year, there was only two new couples. Two new couples. Okay, yeah, that's true. Yeah, and like, okay, so one of one of the couples, like the guy, uh, he's a best friend of me and the tech. I mean, yeah. I we were supporting him. We were supporting him. We we thought they would last, you know, but then, yeah. but then I mean, I mean, he, he just he just started fucking. He started calling her out. Look, keep going, keep going. Long story short, long story short. Right. No, long story short, what happened? What happened was they started dating. You know, um, they found each other attractive, probably because of the personality yeah. or or the um academic abilities. But they found each other attractive. They started dating, and what happened was that the guy just basically lost feelings because the girl was very mentally unstable. She was always having like the suicidal thoughts for some for some reason, and then the only thing she ate was cow suejo and mala shango, and oh, that yeah, obviously yeah. you know led to a lot of conflict. Like the guy is, was just slowly yeah, being, yeah. Uh, losing interest. Nah, because the girl the girl would like always like hurt herself, cut herself. Like she would always randomly um, say that like she wanted to jump off the building and like all that shit. Like, like I want to like, jump off the cliff, it. and then she kept saying, "I want to cut myself with a scissor." So she's very bipolar as well. And and uh, what we found out later on was that 
the, the guy just saw her like you know he started losing feelings and now he's just calling her uh <laughs> okay, don't, don't, don't say that far okay, all right let's far let's keep moving on then like yeah but basically that happened and uh there was also another couple um which is you know that the the one with the interesting nickname uh, right now, they just broke up a few days ago, so Nintendo here is, you know, gonna All take right, that, like, gonna steal the bag. Let's do it, let's you know, get it down, Nintendo. Yo, Nintendo, take, 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 take over, bro, let's explain the situation, right, explain the situation. Explain basically, yeah, you know, Nintendo, like, after, after, after this new couple, like, started dating, you know, Linta like, the girl in there, like, Linta started seeing her a bit, like, attractive, you know. Oh, like, oh. It, cause in oh, ISM oh. Freshman, stop, ISM stop. Freshman right now, like, there's, there isn't, like, that stop. much, like, that's not pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so, like, Linta kind of like, got interested in her, but, like, oh, look, no, obviously, obviously, because she had a boyfriend, like, Linta was, like, like, he was oh. very respectful about it, but, like, the, the in, thing um, is, it's the like, thing is, that... like, 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 Chushin A4, like, for example, you know, you <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, Nintendo, ever since, even before they started dating, you know, there was this girl at Freshman, she looks kind of, like, she looks pretty good, like, she was probably the best looking out of Freshman, and even since then, you know, since the that girl kind of had a boyfriend, at least she had to, you know, step back, like, let them do their thing, but oh even, God. even when he had a boyfriend, he was like, he, like, went to cho same tuition uh, as her, you know, we all go to the same tuition, and there was some, like, f uh, touchy, touchy stuff going on there, which I'm not gonna you know, say the, on the pod. The fact, the fact was like, you know, her boyfriend, her boyfriend went to the same tuition as Linta. Um, I mean, even even we and Derek, me and Derek, were, we were all there, so we saw it firsthand. First hand, yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. All right, and okay. all I'm gonna okay. mention is who's wider. Okay, okay, I'll speak now. What? What they all said? We're we're fucked up. No. So I mean, it was fun. Like, obviously, like we're all free. I mean, I think. I don't think Linta is free, but like, at least I'm like very free from romantic stuff and stuff. So, like, I'm living my life. I'm chilling, you know. I'm chilling with the boys. Have fun with a lot of my boys. And yeah, that's pretty much it for me. Okay. How are you, Derek? Alright, so, uh, aside from all the 1 trillion chicks that, that got a lot prettier and got all the glow ups, uh, obviously, uh, you know, I had a lot of fun with the friends, with the homies. No, obviously. I mean, we did have some conflict between Linda and me. Bro, stop talking to me. Or like, oh yeah, I'm in the school. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, oh, for yo, some yo. reason, for some reason, a lot of people okay. started hating Derek. Right, like, guys, I don't guys, know guys. why. For some reason, for like the first like six or seven months, you know, I had absolutely no friends. But you know, James, bro, hey, my man was always there for me, bro. Yo, oh, oh, explain the situation, bro. What what, ha what happened? Oh, oh, you were also going there. Deal with that, bro. Yo, why, why, why were you getting hate, Derek? Why were you getting hate? I know hate, Derek. Derek, Derek, Derek got the Derek got the leftovers from us. No wait, Derek. Why were you getting hate, though? Look, look. Okay, yeah, so long story short, long story short. According to what I think, you know, I had a lot. I took a lot of the leftovers, and most of the people in the grade just saw me autistic. Hey, I, well, I think you're autistic, bro. I mean, <laughs> so basically, Derek at the start of ninth grade, like he 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 started talking to the girl that me and Linda just like fucking finished off with. Yeah. Oh. So, yeah, and so basically, Derek he started he started talking with her, and like obviously they got a bit closer, 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 and Derek like he had some moments where like. He thought like she meant something more than just friends, uh, and like and like what yeah, mid, no, mid ninth grade. You got leftovers, bro. You got leftovers. Yeah, but around <laughs> mid ninth grade, like fucking, I think he he like confessed to her. Did you confess to her, Derek? I don't even know what happened, but like he just got confirmation that like she she just saw her him as a friend. Yeah. Well, uh, basically, long story short, that's what happened. Yeah. But like, yeah, bro. Obviously. High freshman year was pretty good, I think. But hey, aside from the fact that I keep getting one GPA, aside from that, uh, I think I made new friends. You know, got got to know more people. Uh, oh yeah, I also like basketball. That's another thing I learned. And yeah, like, and now we're all good back though. All the all my freshman friends, they we're all good back. So yeah, we're all good back. Man. Hey, freshman for me, it was it was a crazy experience. I had. I had like really fun. It was 
I it was my favorite year out of uh, what every school year except every from middle school to high school is it was my favorite in ninth grade I had I I started hanging out with what upperclassmen like finally my like same same building now because high school and I I started bonding and also on the other hand I had my friends from my grade but yeah it was both and I had really fun with both of them and I uh. Yeah, I made many memories, like sleepovers, many sleepovers. We went to, oh yeah, we went to Chongda. I mean, we went to Busan as well. Fresh, yeah. fresh men, shit. Yo, how was it? How was it? I, I knew that. I, I knew that you guys went to uh, what Busan. You guys went to a yeah, beach yeah, together. Yeah. Yo, how was it? How was it? Yeah, it's like for the fact that Gong Gong kept wasting oh, money. Yeah, Bro kept ordering. Dropping names. Didn't even eat. <laughs> sorry, right. sorry, sorry. Not dropping names. Alright, okay, we'll, we'll right. <laughs> right, so obviously, I mean, it was fun, like, me, so, well, the people that went were me, Derek, Lintet, and three other friends. Uh, two of them, the two other friends, and like, we three, we mainly hanged out most of the time. We had a lot of fun, we went to the beach, we enjoyed the waves, you know, and we went swimming and shit. Oh, uh, okay. The other friend, I mean, I'm not really gonna blame him, but like, you know, he was just kind of chilling in the hotel the whole time, like not enjoying yeah. all the activities. Yeah, and then he also ordered a lot of the food which he didn't finish. Yeah, and, and, and mean, then his damn mom had to pay for everything. I mean, yeah, cause like, I was like my I would my 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 mom was like paying for like that two of my friends, so and like that yeah. one of the friends like I don't know he just kind of wasted a lot of money, but I'm not really gonna say anything. Yeah. But the nights, though, the nights were crazy. We had a lot of deep talk at the nights. Oh, yeah. Nights were good. Yeah, yeah. 